The anime starts with our protagonist playing a dating sim game. Basically, he despised this type of game but was forced to play because of his sister. She wanted to know the ending but was leaving on a trip, so she threatened him with revealing his secret to his mother. And so he had to play the game, which had a protagonist named Olivia and a prince who was after her. The game was eventually cleared with the successful reverse harem ending, but it took three days without eating. And because of weakness from not eating anything, he died and was reborn as a side character named Leon in the game he despised the most, the dating sim game he was playing. The worst thing Leon despised about it was that women were superior to men. Leon also had a stepmother who was cold-hearted toward him and his family. Few years later, Leon's stepmother brought him a marriage proposal. But it was old hag, and Leon wanted to look for a decent life partner in the academy. However, his family did not have that much money to spare for him. So he borrowed an airboat from his father in order to flee and find his own treasure in order to avoid that marriage. However, on his way, he was sucked down by strong wind currents and ended up at the location where he could withdraw an item he purchased while he was playing the game. However, in it, Leon was attacked by its self-defense system, and was captured by one of its robots. The AI became perplexed because Leon possessed both old and new human variant genes. While the AI was confused, Leon managed to free himself. As he progressed, AI began telling the basic game story. That old human was crushed against the new human, who possessed magic, but the old human species eventually lost the war, and now he is alone, but the AI accepted Leon as its new master because he still possesses the characteristics of an old human. Leon received a large sum of money from that AI named Luxion and was able to avoid marrying that old hag. Leon received the title of a baron, his own island, and was finally able to attend the academy in order to find a suitable wife. And, according to the game, the prince, the protagonist, and the antagonist all came to the academy this year, but Leon saw himself as a side character and wanted to avoid them. However, on the way, the same scene occurred in which the prince was slapped by the protagonist, just as in the game, but the protagonist Olivia was replaced by another girl. While Leon was discussing it with his newly formed friends, another scene occurred. When antagonist Angelica asked for an invitation to Prince Julius' tea party, both Prince and Angelica were engaged. However, the prince invited another girl named Marie rather than Angelica. It was because Marie replaced the protagonist Olivia. Olivia is a sweet girl and a scholarship student from a common family, so she is frequently bullied. That's how Leon met her. For her problem, he sought advice from his sister, and she advised them to make her introduction to the center of the girls' group by inviting them to a tea party or giving them a gift. Olivia naturally put her plan into action, and she introduced herself to Angelica. Angelica was curious as to how she got the idea for the introduction. So she told her truthfully that it was Leon, and even Angelica was impressed by him for achieving the status of Baron at such a young age. Moving on, the exploration class began, and the other Nobels were using Olivia and Leon as human shields. Others were needed to send Olivia and Leon ahead to fight the monsters and clear a path for others. But while they were there, the prince chose to team up with Marie and ignored his own fiancée Angelica, which was an insult to Angelica and her name. They were tasked with bringing a crystal from the cave to exchange for money, but while doing so, Leon and Olivia were amused by giant ants. Leon handled the first wave quickly, but another was waiting for him ahead. However, while they were on a pitch surrounded by ants, five idiot prince arrived with Marie and helped Leon out a little. Seeing Marie so close to Julius, naturally, Angelica, his fiancée, was upset, but prince ignored her in public, and prince wanted Angelica to stay away from him, and Leon was curious about Marie's identity. Because she took the place of the main protagonist, Olivia, he inquired about Marie, but even she was unaware of her. So Angelica realized Marie was deceiving the prince by having other relationships, and while she tried to tell the prince about it, five of them prince and his nobleman friends confessed their feelings for Marie. Angelica challenged Marie out of frustration, so the prince and the other four took Mare's side. While no one wanted to assist Angelica, no one wanted to face the prince of the kingdom. And if Angelica was unable to find a champion from the academy to fight to fight for her, she would be forced to hire someone from outside. And if that occurs, she will be disinherited from her noble lineage and forced to marry someone from a backwater town. Living her life in full misery for her entire life, that was the rule. But, seeing everyone ganging up on Angelica, Leon volunteers to be her champion for this fight. They make a bet that if the prince wins, Angelica will stay away from him and Marie. And if Angelica wins with Leon, Prince must stay away from Marie. They all agreed to a fight in the arena with their armor, but everyone mocked Leon's armor because it was an old piece of junk from the previous century with no agility or speed, giving Leon a significant disadvantage against new model armor. That specifies in both speed and agility, and because all five of them are Nobel laureates, 
Their armor is more powerful than normal because it is all custom-made armor. Leon faced five opponents and won three straight matches against Brad, Chris, and Greg. Seeing this jerk, he devised a plan to defeat Leon by forcing his sister to plant a bomb that would kill Leon. Fortunately, his armor was much stronger and could withstand the direct impact of the bomb. Despite his best efforts, Jilk was unable to defeat Leon. So, beating the Academy's prettiest boys group Leon was now despised by every Academy student. In the end, it was Prince Julius who entered the arena to defeat him, but Leon defeated Julius in the worst way possible by insulting him. Leon would have been kicked out of the Academy if he had defeated the Prince, so he sought assistance from Angelica's father, Duke Vince Redgrave. Leon's true motivation for fighting the Prince was that he despised his pretty face. But he covered it up and told the Duke that he wanted to make the future ruler of the kingdom realize that he should not be fooled by girls like Marie. So Leon was spared, but as a result of Duke's recommendations, Leon received another promotion. So, to divert attention away from Duke's request, Leon invited Angelica and Olivia to his home for a vacation. Despite coming from the most powerful family, Angelica was growing closer to Olivia. If that was the case, both Olivia and Angelica preferred to be addressed by their nicknames from now on rather than their given names. That's Angel and Olivia, and the three of them were getting closer with that incident. And while the king and queen were promoting Leon, our five idiots were disinherited from their family, and even Crown Prince Julius' right to be Crown Prince was taken away because he lost to Leon Marie's dream was destroyed, and Leon was very pleased to ruin her dream. 